So this is another thing that you can do when you set up uh, a wise camera and a travel router inside your hotel room. You're able to. Hey bud, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Why are you still there? I thought you were gonna go to the gym. I loved it. <laughs> Alrighty, bud. I it. Okay, I'll talk to you later, bud. Alright. Bye. Yeah. So how did I do it? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today is actually an update of my old video about a year and a half ago about setting up your Wi-Fi cameras, particularly the versatile Wisecam using a public Wi-Fi. You know the ones that you need to log in, like if you are in a hotel and have to agree to their terms and conditions in a browser or need to type in a password through a web browser. I will link the original video in the description down below. Today will be more of an update and things that I've learned using this setup, which I probably just used a handful of times since the first video just because 2020 was mostly a stay-at-home year. Anyways, before the end of the year and to keep our sanity, my family and I did a road trip and had to stop in a couple of hotels. And this is where I dusted off my GLI Net Mini Travel Router, which is needed in this setup. And for the Wi-Fi camera, I'll now be using the new Wisecam version 3 which I also did a review, and if you haven't seen it yet, I will also link it down below. Now, without the mini router, you will not be able to set up the Wisecam or any branded Wi-Fi cameras because they need the Wi-Fi that is going to connect to to be password protected. You will not be able to set it up in a browser authentication setup, which hotels usually use. If you travel a lot and use VPN or not trusting public Wi-Fi, or actually you shouldn't trust public Wi-Fi anyways, you probably already know and own a travel router. Even if you don't set up a Wi-Fi camera, and I'm pretty sure you use the hotel's Wi-Fi to access your email or your social media accounts, or worse, your bank information, then you do need to have a layer of protection. And this is where a travel router comes into play. You will use the router as an extender, and you'll be adding your own password, giving you protection compared to just accessing straight the hotel's Wi-Fi. Now, setting up the router is pretty easy, and the one that I showed in the first video still applies. But in the first hotel that we stayed at, the SSID of the hotel's Wi-Fi is not showing in my router. But it shows and we're able to connect with our phones, tablets, and computers. Also, with the older firmware that my router have, you will have no option to type in your SSID like if you're accessing hidden networks. I searched a bit about this issue and it seems like Holiday Inn hotels use some type of Wi-Fi that is hidden with travel routers. It can be seen by our other devices but not the router. I do need to update the router's firmware though which I advise that you need to check the latest firmware every time you use it. And GLI Net is pretty much still evolving with a lot of updates since I last set it up. With the new firmware, I do need to use my computer to download and update the router which can only be done offline because it cannot connect to the internet yet and I'm not able to download the firmware to my iPhone. After the firmware update, I need to log into the router using the default IP address. Click on the repeater setup, scan to find available Wi-Fi networks. And as you can see, no IHG connect, which is the network I want to connect to. And with the update, if you scroll down, there is click other. And now you can type in the SSID you want to connect to. And this is where I'm going to put in IHG Connect. Keep open and 2.4G and click join. Now I have the computer already logged on earlier with the hotel's splash screen when I checked the terms of service and typed in the password. So it just automatically connected. Now you can see that the computer is connected to the router, which in turn the router successfully connected to the hotel's Wi-Fi. The next step that you're going to do, which I should have done when I first used the router, and this will save you a lot of time in setting up the Wise camera or your phone, tablet, or your laptops, is to change your travel router's SSID name and password to the same network name that you use at home. So go to the wireless tab and click modify to change the Wi-Fi name to the same name as your home network, which is no Wi-Fi in my case, and on the Wi-Fi key, change it to your home network's password and click apply. 
Now your phones, tablets, and computers will automatically connect. And with a wise cam, just plug it in, wait for it to boot up about a minute or two, then open up the app, which in mine, I turned it off at home before I unplugged it. So I have to turn it back on. And there you go, it automatically got connected. And I don't have to run the setup. It is upside down though, just because that is how I set it up at home. And with the Cam Plus subscription, you will get notified when it detected a person. And it is currently uploading the footage to the cloud. And this is, aside from the recording, which is also in the micro SD card that I have installed. One benefit of the cloud recording in this case, if somebody indeed went inside your hotel room, it is better to have a backup of the footage uploaded to the cloud, just in case the camera also gets stolen. All our devices that have connected to our network at home will also automatically connect. So now this is my travel kit and my mini router and the Wise Cam will be with me every time I stay in a hotel. Even if I don't set up the camera, I will at least set up the router so that we'll have a password protected network while we use the hotel's Wi-Fi. Now I just have to reconnect this router to our next hotel and we don't have to add all our other devices to the hotel's Wi-Fi. It will just connect with the same credentials that we use at home and it will save you a lot of time. So this is what it looks like with my Wisecam version 3 uh, connected to my uh, travel router using the hotel's Wi-Fi and I'm, uh, we are currently in uh, Holiday Inn Express. So this is what it looks like and you will be able to use your Wisecam version 3 to monitor your hotel room. Okay, so we are at the other hotel that we are going to stay at for a three or four days. And I'm going to set up the mini router, the travel router. I'm going to set it up uh, to connect it to the hotel's Wi-Fi. So, another essential gadget that I always bring will be the uh, charger hub. So we have USB ports right here. And so that I can just plug it in and I will be able to charge my phone and also power up the mini charger and also the Wise Cam in here. So I'm going to plug in the mini router and I'm gonna wait until that red LED light turns on and that is the only time that I'll be able to access its Wi-Fi so now I've opened up my uh, uh, my laptop and I'm gonna access the, uh, the the router one and two dot 168.8.1 and that's the admin panel of the travel router and this laptop automatically connected to the uh, as you can see right here automatically connected to the no Wi-Fi which I've set up at the other hotel and I'm just gonna type in my password and I'll be able to access the settings all right so we are going to scan available networks or available Wi-Fi and as you can see there we go we got the uh, hotels Wi-Fi right here and we'll click join There you go. So now it will show up. I actually used Microsoft Edge browser to be able to connect. And uh, as you can see, this is the splash screen for the uh, hotel that we're staying at. Okay, so now we just need to plug in the Wisecam version 3. And we're gonna wait for a minute or two and we're gonna check out until it loads up and we're gonna check out the app. There you go let's open up the app and you see it's off so I'm going to turn it on and let's load it up there you go now we're online so now our laptops tablets and also our phones are connected to the no Wi-Fi network which is the with the mini travel router which in turn connected to the hotel's Wi-Fi so we saved setup time because we don't have to set up 
each or individual devices to the hotel's Wi-Fi. So, any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload tips and tutorials like this video, product reviews, comparison videos, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.